Your smartphone holds your memories, conversations, and secrets. But with one wrong click, it can become a spy, watching, listening, and reporting your every move. Hackers don't need to break in, they just need you to download the wrong app. Malicious programs often disguise themselves as games, tools, or updates. Once installed, these intruders silently give hackers control over your device. One of the most notorious tools for this is called SpyNote. By learning how SpyNote works and spotting the warning signs, you can protect yourself and your loved ones, unmasking the digital predator. The tool is called SpyNote, a master key for your Android phone built by criminals. Technically, it's a remote access trojan, or RAT. Remote access means someone can control your device from anywhere. Trojan means it sneaks in disguised as something harmless. SpyNote isn't just a virus that slows your phone or shows ads. It's designed for total surveillance and control. Once it infects a phone, it gives the hacker a dashboard, a remote control for your digital life. They can see your screen, read your messages, and listen to your calls in real time. The software is user-friendly for attackers, making it popular among all kinds of cybercriminals. The most insidious part? SpyNote is built to be invisible. It hides its icon, runs silently, and consumes little power or data to avoid suspicion. You might go weeks or months with no idea someone is watching your every move. SpyNote is just one of many similar rats, but understanding it helps you understand the threat. These aren't just lines of code, they're weapons used to violate your privacy and steal your identity. Now, let's look at what SpyNote can actually do. Once a hacker has SpyNote running on your phone, they have a terrifying amount of power. They can remotely activate your camera and microphone, watching and listening without your knowledge. Every text you send, every call you make, every contact you have, they see it all. They can log your calls, record them, and access your entire contact list, putting your friends and family at risk. Your location? No longer private. They can track you in real time using your phone's GPS. All your files, photos, videos, documents are at their fingertips. They can copy or delete them at will. The most dangerous feature, a keylogger. Every password, credit card number, and private message you type is captured. With this information, they can take over your accounts, steal your identity, and drain your finances. And all of this happens silently, without you ever knowing. Your phone becomes a window into your life, for someone you've never met. This is why understanding the threat is so important. Now let's see how these hackers trick you into letting them in. It all starts with deception. You'd never install something called SpyNote. That's why criminals are masters of disguise. They create fake versions of popular apps, games, social media, even banking apps, injecting them with malicious code. These tainted apps are uploaded to third-party websites, not the official app store. You might see an ad for a free premium game or get a text with a link to a cool new app. This is social engineering, preying on curiosity and the desire for a good deal. The fake app looks and works like the real one, so you don't suspect a thing. While you use it, the spy software installs itself in the background. Another trick, fake updates. A pop-up says you need a critical security update. You tap, thinking you're protecting your phone, but you're actually installing malware. Hackers also use messages from friends whose accounts they've already compromised. Is this you in this photo? With a link. You trust it, you click, and the infection begins. The attack almost always starts with a trick. They need you to open the door. That's why awareness is your best defense. Don't trust links or downloads from unknown sources. If it seems too good to be true, it probably is. Next, let's talk about how to spot the signs if your phone's already been compromised. Even stealthy spyware leaves clues. Even stealthy spy tools leave subtle clues. Watch for sudden battery drain. Spyware running in the background uses a lot of power. Check your data usage. If an app you don't recognize is using lots of data, that's a red flag. SpyNote needs to send stolen info back to the hacker, which can spike your data usage. Review your installed apps. Look for unfamiliar names like System Service or Google Service. A quick online search can reveal if an app is malicious. Notice strange behavior, sluggish performance, random crashes, pop-ups, or your camera light turning on unexpectedly. Any unexplained persistent issues could mean your phone is compromised. Don't ignore these signs. The sooner you spot them, the sooner you can act. 
Next, let's cover how to protect yourself. Protecting yourself doesn't require tech expertise, just good habits. Only download apps from official stores like Google Play. Third-party sites are risky. Keep your phone and apps updated. Updates patch security holes hackers exploit. Turn on automatic updates so you don't forget. Be mindful of app permissions. Does a calculator need your camera? Deny anything that seems excessive. Review permissions for apps you already have and revoke unnecessary ones. Be skeptical of unsolicited links in texts, emails, or social media, even from friends. If a message seems suspicious, verify it through another method. Consider installing a reputable mobile security app for extra protection. These apps can scan for malware and warn you about dangerous links. Simple habits make you a much harder target. Now, what if you think you're already a victim? If you suspect your phone is infected, act fast. Disconnect from the internet, turn off Wi-Fi and mobile data, or use airplane mode. Don't change passwords on the infected phone. Use a trusted device instead. Change passwords for your email, bank, and critical accounts first. Enable two-factor authentication. To remove the malware, perform a full factory reset. This wipes everything, including the spyware. Restore your data only from a clean backup. If you're unsure or don't have a backup, seek professional help from a reputable repair shop or cybersecurity expert. Don't let embarrassment stop you from getting help. Your privacy and security are worth it. Take action quickly to limit the damage. Now, let's talk about protecting those around you. Protecting yourself is just the start. Your friends and family are targets too. Share what you've learned. Have a conversation, especially with those less tech-savvy. Show them how to check app permissions and why official app stores matter. Remind them to be wary of unexpected messages with links, even from trusted sources. Walk them through enabling automatic updates. For kids and teens, explain the risks of third-party app stores and free apps. Encourage open dialogue. If they click something suspicious, they should feel safe coming to you. The more people know, the safer everyone is. Share this knowledge online and in person. Make digital safety a normal topic. When we talk about it, we strip away the power of these predators. You can be a force for good just by spreading awareness. Let's build a safer digital community together. We've covered a lot today, from how hackers invade your phone to how you can fight back. The goal isn't fear, it's empowerment. Criminals thrive in the shadows. By shining a light on their tricks, we take away their advantage. Your smartphone is a powerful tool you shouldn't have to give it up, just use it wisely. Adopt a mindset of healthy skepticism and vigilance, question strange links, review app permissions, and stick to official stores. Remember, you control what gets installed, what permissions are granted, and which links you click. Every decision is a chance to protect yourself. Criminals count on you being distracted or uninformed. Don't give them that chance. Your vigilance is your shield. Share this knowledge. Have those important conversations. Trust your instincts. If something feels off, it probably is. The digital world has dangers, but with awareness and caution, we can navigate it safely. Keep the spies out of your pocket and keep your technology personal. Thanks for watching and stay safe.